all right today we are talking anti tuberculosis drugs and i make some mnemonics which may be useful for you to remember uh, tuberculosis i don't want to describe too much about tuberculosis i think everyone already study and tuberculosis is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis and the basically the first line drugs i make the mnemonics is like priest p r i e s t okay what p for stand r i e and s t p for pyrenzimide pyrenzimide okay r for rifampicin i for i for isoniazide isoniazide then e for ethambutol ethamb butyl and st means streptomycin streptomycin okay so the numerics is priest or you you may use ripe r i p e ripes as your wish which one is easy for you to remember but i go for priest so it's very easy to remember p for pyrenzimide rifampicin i for isoniazides e for ethambutol and st for streptomycin so these are first line drugs you must remember these are the first line drugs we have second line drugs also but these are the first line drugs for tuberculosis what important things you must need to remember uh, in the content of mcq is side effect these side effects are very very important most of the mcq uh, are being made on the basis of their side effect so i just want to mention the main side effect of these uh, first line drugs pyrenzimide the first uh, very important side effects uh, which one is very common in mcq is hepatotoxicity hepatotoxicity and arthralgia you should remember pyrenzimide you need to remember so same time you need to remember side effect of pyrenzimide is hepatotoxicity and arthralgia rifampicin rifampicin side effect is hepatitis as well as hemolytic anemia hemolytic anemia isoniazide peripheral neuropathy peripheral neuropathy ethambutol is optic neuritis side effect and streptomycin is we know ototoxicity ototoxicity as well as it is contraindications in pregnancy and renal failure okay one more time i will repeat the anti tuberculosis we are talking anti tuberculosis drugs these are the first line drugs the mnemonics is priest p r i e s t p for pyrenzimide r for rifampicin i isoniazide e ethambutol st for streptomycin so the main side effect of these five drugs pyrenzimide side effect hepatotoxicity arthralgia rifampicin side effect hepatitis and hemolytic anemia isoniazides peripheral neuropathy ethambutols optic neuritis and streptomycin is autotoxicity and contraindication in pregnancy as well as renal failure so you all this side effect you must need to remember so let's go for doses okay this doses is very important and i am not okay so we are going to talk uh w h o recommended dose but these doses are very very tricky and you all need to remember these doses of first line drugs especially okay according to w h o w h o recommendation according to w h o there are the two groups they are divided less than 50 kg okay and more than 50 kg the patient more, less than 50 kg and more than 50 kg so what are the dose first is a isoniazide isoniazides if less than 50 kg is 300 mg but if more than 50 kg then the dose is 400 mg okay second is a rifampicin 
the dose is 450 mg if the weight is less than 50 and more than 50 this is the 600 mg rifampicin after that pyrenzimide pyrenzimide is 1500 mg less than for 50 kg and 2000 mg for more than 50 and ethambutol ethambutol is 800 mg if more than 50 kg then 1200 mg okay these are doses we have doses of uh, like isoniazide 10 mg per kg but the better who recommendation is nowadays less than 50 kg isoniazide we will give 300 mg this one actually is a one tap one tap and 400 mg actually 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 means two tap 450 mg actually three capsule each capsule is 150 and this one is a four capsule four capsule 1500 mg is a three tab each tab has a 500 mg 2000 mg means four tab 800 mg means two tab each contain 400 mg this one is a three tab each contain 400 mg so these doses are very important and these are recommendations by the who now very shortcut how we will do uh, the regime i will discuss very shortly as well as i'll write the name of the second line drugs also okay the regime the treatment regime is if the new cases if the tb persons is a new cases first tb you diagnose at that time the new cases you will give the drugs like this 2 h r j e as then plus 4 HR means H means isoniazides, rifampicin, pyrenzamide, ethambutols. You shouldn't give streptomycins. Okay, that's why I bracket. Maybe you can give streptomycin instead of ethambutol. But 2 HRZD, this 2 month, this is 2 month, these 4 drugs are given. Okay, and plus after 2 month, for 4 month, we will give only isoniazide and rifampicin. This is total duration is a six month if the person is having tuberculosis for the first time it means new cases but if the condition is a relapse cases relapse cases means the person which is not treated well and again follow up not completed at that time how the regime is is 2 h r z e s all five drugs are given is two for two months to, uh, for two months, isoniazide, rifampicin, pyrenzimide, ethambutol, streptomycins, plus one month HRZE. This is three months, okay, initial stage, and five months HRE means total is eight month. Okay, for total eight month, for total eight month, the regime is two month five drugs and one month only four drugs and five month three drugs these are the reason for the relapse case and new cases is a uh, like this okay now i will write very fast second line drugs okay second line drugs second line drug very important also second line drugs first is aminoglycosides amino Glycosides in aminoglycosides important it amikacin, amikacins, and canamycin, canamycins. Okay, second is a uh, eight fluorocuinolones, fluorocuinolones, cuinolones, ofloxacin, ofloxacin, moxifloxacin, moxifloxacin, and levofloxacin. Okay, eight fluorocuinolones. Third is a uh, Ethanomide, mite or prothionamide, okay. And fourth group is cycloserin, and fifth, fifth is a PAS, polyamino salicylic acid, sorry, para amino salicylic acid. So these are the second line drugs aminoglycosides, amikacin, canamycins, 8 fluorocunilones, ofloxacin, moxifloxacin, levofloxacin, ethanomide. Prothionamide, 
cycloserine and para amino salicylic acids so these are the second line drugs about tuberculosis what i must need to tell is that for uh, clinical features you must need to know two weeks there is a consistent cough fever chest pain dyspnea okay night sweating weakness these are the clinical features but you must need to do the anamnesis okay to diagnose anamnesis maybe family members or relatives or maybe in a community maybe there are some suspected tuberculosis persons and after that you must need to do the simple sputum test okay simple sputum microscopy test you need to take the three specimen if the sputum has a positive for mbt mycobacterium tuberculosis then of course it is a confirmation of tuberculosis another is a tuberculin test tuberculin skin test it is also called as a montex skin test you should do this one and uh, after injections then after 72 hours if the induration is a more than 10 mm then there is a tuberculin and this is tuberculosis positives these are the and of course chest x-ray chest x-ray also you need to do okay and nowadays the vaccine is available so uh, if the if the healthy child more than 1500 gram okay is birth given birth and within three to five days within three to five days of birth we need to give the bcg vaccines okay bcg vaccines bcg vaccines the dose is one dose equal 0.05 mg in 0.1 ml this is the doses for bcg vaccines and we will give uh, within three to five days and if the healthy person is a 1500 if healthy child is a 1500 gram so these are the for the preventions these are you should uh, uh, give advice to your relatives or uh, anybody for the bcg vaccines also okay that's all for anti-tuberculosis drugs. These are the main anti-tuberculosis drugs as I told you first line drugs and second line drugs and simple basic information of the tuberculosis. Thank you.